What is up everyone? I am Matt, also known as Game Rebel, and we're gonna go through some more Gunvolt today. Last time was Merrick. Today we go to the Pharma Lab to take care of Stratos. Before I do that though, I actually changed things over to the new dialogue, or as it's actually called in Gunvolt 2, Story Mode Plus. That's that should be what I should be referring it to. But anyway, with Story Mode Plus on, you'll actually be able to hear voices now, and I'm going to have to do a little something about that before I start. But first off, let's talk to Jewel. GV. GV was yeah, you get so many different conversations between Gunvolt and Jewel, and even Lumen at times, when you uh, talk to her with Story Mode Plus on. And it's because of the voices, because I don't want to talk over the voices. Because then it's going to sound like a garbled mess. Jewel's eyes were glazed over with sadness. She was shaking. A love story in the making. Anyway, I just wanted to talk to her at least once. Just in case I uh, mess up. However, I also did do a little bit of some challenges and a little bit of leveling. Actually, I'm going to go to my loadout because at level 10, and somehow I actually am able to remember this, at level 10, I got my third skill, Septimal Burst. Channels latent septimal energy to temporarily accelerate EP recovery. I am not entirely sure how this all works, but I'm guessing that for a short time, yeah, to temporarily accelerate, which means it'll increase my EP faster, and I think maybe it'll also help if I overheat. Then again, I don't know. I usually use the upgraded one, which we get much later in the game. Now, if I go back to the synth and sell the dealer option, I did do some of the challenges for, at the very least, I'm trying to remember, it was just first to Miragi and subaquatic base. I didn't do any submissions for the biochem plant, but I honestly didn't need to because, as you see here, I now have options for a pendant, a ring, and contacts. I want to get a contact first. I gotta do the first one, otherwise I will not be able to have access to a brand new set of contacts. Some of which I kind of do really want to get. Actually, none of these I really want, but... Also, when you synthesize one, you'll get an upgraded version as an option. You need to synthesize two of them and have a good amount of money in order to get a better version of that particular item. Now we'll do the shield medallion. Also, I got a Lumen audio locket. The audio lockets, unfortunately, disable your pervasion, but... And, actually, these are not all that good, but they guarantee which song you will get when you hit the 1,000 kudos mark. I thought that the music would actually just straight up play throughout the level no matter what. No, it just guarantees whatever song you get, which kind of sucks. I got this when I was playing through Subaquatic Base again, which kind of sucks, though, because uh, that's not the one I want. I could also get this Overflash Pendant, which... It basically accelerates the amount of damage. Like, like, you do more DPS over time, but it also speeds up your EP, so it's like it accelerates how fast you attack. But this is what I want, the boost band. The boost band gives me a double jump in midair, and this is going to be helpful in some of the other stages. But what I really want is this, or rather its upgraded version, the double boost band. It gives me two air hops. If I get the boost band plus, it costs a really low amount of EP to do a, an air hop. And I really want this, because 150? Hell no! I don't like that. Anyway, I 
don't believe there's anything else I can make aside from the overflash pendant. Let's make this real quick and then we'll actually move on. So I need to put on some gear. Ooh, charge guard! I want this too. This will be for another stage. Man, I had a lot of stuff. Oh well. So I got a couple pendants and let's uh let's get our gear on. So you can equip up to two contacts at a time. One for the left eye, one for the right eye. Does not matter which one's which. The Osmotic Eye increases the effect of recovery power-ups, as it said, which means I'll regain more health if I pick up one of those little bottles that shows up. This thing would normally give me a little bit of an acceleration from overheating, but Boost Band is just better, because it helps out. It gives me an ability. And then the Shield Medallion will lower the amount of damage I take. Really helpful! Alright. We shall go to the Pharma Lab this time, and I did say I was going to get off of Gutless for the remainder of the LP. I'm still going to use it for if I am doing stuff like grinding them. あなたには爪ラギの薬理研究所で培養されているある花を駆除してほしいの。花の駆除変わった依頼ですね。実はその花から取れる成分が問題なのよ。シード。uh, yes, I have. I heard that was actually an organization from a completely unrelated game about a serious and stoic person who wields a blade that's part gun. Oh wow, stress relief medication. I would actually, I actually might want that. Oh yeah, one, one, one last thing before I actually go in there, and I just about forgot. Um, Japanese voice mode. I am turning this off. Because like I said, these are distracting to me. And in Story Mode Plus, you have this option, text boxes on and off. I'm going to leave them on just for the sake of their stuff that ends up coming into play that I kind of would like to show off. Anyway, no more dawdling. Let's begin. Mission Garden. Stratos, Lord of the Horde, feasts upon the laboratory's grotesque flora, but they can only sate his hunger for so long. There's a swoosh on it. Also, this is a thing that really pisses me off. I actually have to go in here, in the level, to turn this off. This is why I switched it back to regular story mode over story mode plus. Is this some freak of nature tentacle? Yeah, and it reacts to your flash field. Sounds like a crazy trap that Xeno come up with. Whoa, hang on a second there, Monica. Oh, jeez, I didn't see that there. What, something wrong? I mean, he is always saying weird stuff. Yeah, they have an interesting relationship. Also, ow. Sumeragi Pharma Labs first... I didn't read that. Experimental plants are grown here using artificial sunlight. And here, you think it was the middle of the day. Or the afternoon. The only thing is, it's after 1 a.m. I feel like if I stay too long, I won't be able to sleep tonight. And here comes one of them. The pathway goes vertical from here. Make your way up and watch out for Tinta experimental vegetation. Monica, are you still thinking about our tentacle talk? Yes. Yes. Monica knows the, the meme. She knows the meme, and she knows what it's like, and she hates it. Either that or a bad experience. Alright. I'm just gonna move on. At this point, I can actually speed up a little bit. 
待って足元のシャッターから地下へ行けるみたい目の前の壁にある配電盤に雷撃を流してみて OK tag that flash it and head on down gotta watch out my flash field will burn this ivy away Yeah, you see why I play with the gutless option usually? I just... I'm not good at avoiding these. Here. Just lock those in so I don't lose them all. They're even growing plants in a dank area like this? The growth rate must be insane. Ouch. Now actually, the gem that's coming up is honestly not that hard to get. In fact, it's right here. This is... You pick up a small jewel. I wonder what this is doing here. I bet Jewel would like this. I'll give it to her later. Don't think there's anything up there, so I'm just gonna head down here and deal with this guy. And there's nothing under there. But yeah, you see, I get hit way too much. That's why I don't really do all that well in terms of getting kudos in that. Believe me, it was a challenge to even get 1,000 back in the original 3DS ver version. Whoa! And the spikes just take it away. Yes! Yes! Yes, thank you! Level 13 gives me the second offensive skill, Lux Caliber. I love this skill to passion, especially when I'm going up against the boss. I usually save it for the boss. Target is inside there. And that is our target. It's like a biomechanical flower. So, that's my target, eh? We have a freaking nature here. Well, my data is way off. I wonder if it's fully grown. Never thought that Adelon would be this mo mon monstrous. Or I think it's called- I think it's supposed to be pronounced as Eidolon. If you zap the petals enough, they should open up and expose it. Okay, I'll give it a try. They really make medicine from this aberration? That's way more dangerous than our over-processed junk food. <laughs> yeah, some of the stuff that Gunvolt says. And he's all serious and such, too. Oh man, I wish I could equip Lux Caliber. I want it! In fact, well, you obviously know that. Oh, by the way, enemy eradicated. Great job, GB. Start making your way out. Take out the hexafile and head on inside. Yeah, I'll talk a little more later. After I get through this. Anywho. Seize the intruder! He took out the Eidolon! Yep, now we got these guys that we have to deal with. Oh, great. The welcoming committee. Man, what a pain. Ouch! Good thing I wasn't flashing then. Ah! Okay, I was then. That. Yeah, you see there? I take very little damage now thanks to that shield medallion and having a little bit of extra health. It really helps to grind levels. Sadly, it doesn't give you any more EP or special skill stuff. It's HP only. Sir, the test subject named Stratos has escaped! What? Administer seed now! Well, you see, we don't have any more in stock. With Eidolon gone, we can't make it- Ah! Hey, what happened? I'm so... Hungry! What? You're Stratos! I'm gonna feast on your delicious meats. <laughs> that's the most fakest death scream I heard. But that's kind of one of the other reasons why I wanted Story Mode Plus on. Because you see here, at this point, that is Stratos. What were those? Flies? Seems like they have no sense of friend or foe. Perhaps some experimental creature. No. 
They have a different vibe. This has to be someone's Septima. So, you're saying an addict is behind this? Yeah, I have a feeling I'll run into this person at some point. Looks like my flash fields will be able to keep these guys away. Can't let them have me for dinner. Okay, so... That's kind of the gimmick for the second half of the Pharma Lab. These flies will come in and basically consume everything. Don't let yourself get hit by them. Thankfully, your flash field keeps them away. Now, what these actually are is Stratos himself. Stratos, and I'm going to get into this early, represents the sin Gluttony. I mean... His title is the Gluttonous Fly. His Septima is known as the Fly. And I just got hit. And basically, he'll consume anything and anyone. In fact, that drug seed is what was keeping him in check. So by doing this, we basically just cut off his only means of satisfying his hunger. Then again, though, Gunvolt didn't really know a lot about this. In fact, well, with Gunvolt, if it's... How would I put this? He doesn't really care much about the backstory of anything. If there's a guy in his way, he will fight them. Despite what happened to them. In fact, Stratos is one of two adepts that you face that actually is not one of the commanding officers, but a prisoner of Sumeragi. So, in a way, quite a few of them join up with Sumeragi willingly, but some are forced. It really makes you feel bad about them. But even so, you gotta take them out, because they are the bosses. Now, as for Stratos himself, his history was, he was supposed to be this nice, handsome young man. But then Sumeragi captured him and started experimenting on him. Because of that... His Septima power became too out of control that not even a glaive could contain it properly. And, well, Seed was the only way to actually keep him in check. However, the experiments also took quite a toll on him. And because of that, he's now almost feral. And there he is right now. This is Stratos. Yeah, e even look at him. His clothes. His skin. <laughs> there was something clearly off about this guy. I wonder if that smell is from the flower. I guess I must have carried the scent all the way over here. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah, see there, his body is basically not solid anymore. Yeah, just look at his body right there. Stratos! The gluttonous fly! Okay. So, that thing over top of him is actually a mantle. Weird, right? Oh, good, I took care of those. Yeah, he turns his body into flies and can change forms. Yeah, no organic matter is spared from these menaces. Yeah. So let's put him out of his misery, because there's not really anything at this point we can do. Oh, yeah, I never used the air hop, did I? Yeah, just jump in midair. Come on. Whoa! 
Okay. I really do not want to drag this out. And this is why... This is another reason why I do not like Story Mode Plus on this game. It's because I'm trying to do all this stuff. Whoa! Yeah, at this point, they actually feel bad, and they're gonna pretty much mercy kill them. Oh, I hate this part. I hate this part so much. Stratos is one of the few adepts that has an instant death attack. If I don't take out these right here, they'll close in and kill me. Oh, no, you don't. There. Now we're done. Oh, he's doing it again. Now he fires energy balls at you while he while he gathers those flies. And yeah, if you don't stop them in time, they crush you. And apparently, the wiki also says the insects inside just straight up devour Gunvolt. What a way to go! All right. We knew this was coming. Oh man, that took forever. That's why I'm disabling Story Mode Plus. And we're done. Actually, there's more to this afterwards, so this is going to be yet another long video. See, I can go through these levels a lot better without Story Mode Plus on. Face Fluid Metal, blah blah blah, nothing too big. Obtain Mizuchi, and a, and a Jewel. However... A figure watched from the shadows as Gunvolt left the scene. The figure reached down and took a shard that was left behind. The glaives were a kind of vessel which holds an adept's powers. Adepts who agreed to transplant their Septimusum into a glaive were promised high social status in our society. Sumeragi gained control over their septimal powers in return. Reference. Reference. Also, an edgelord. I'm sorry, I kind of had to at that point. Now, however, after you have taken care of three of the adepts, you get this. One day, late at night, Jewel was already asleep. I was getting ready for bed myself. Suddenly, I got an emergency phone call from Quill. ごめんなさい、ジーヴェイ。あなたに緊急のミッションをお願いしたいの。私たちが追っていたスメラギの能力者がその近くに逃げたようなの。ジーノが追っていたんだけど、負傷してしまって。すまねえ。しくじっちま
GV 私の歌がきっとあなたの力になるから Alright, so as of right now, all the other adapts are locked out until you complete this one at Sinner's Row. We're doing that next time, and this has been dragging on long enough, so I'm actually going to stop it here. So until then, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, maybe subscribe. If you want to know a little bit more, there's info in the little left box in the video and down in the description below. I'm Matt, also known as the Game Rebel, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Gunvolt. Sayonara for now.